Hey, this is Mirgloff, and this is Mirgloff Builds, and this is the uh, town update number two. Number one was actually titled Open House Number One or something like that, because I was doing a tour of all the houses I had made. But uh, I'm gonna do that in this video too. But I decided every ten episodes, instead of just having the open house, I would be uh, going over a couple of things, so in general I decided to call it an update. Uh, on the agenda first is a tour of all the houses I have built in the last ten episodes. And then we'll talk a little bit about uh, where the city, what's coming next in the city, and then I'll talk about uh, about the cities to come. Cause this is just the first city I'm going to be building, or this is a town, the city's going to be much larger. But, uh, looks like it's going to get night here soon, uh, we'll do a night tour. But, uh, so let's see, off the top of my head, what's been built in the last ten episodes would be this house here. We'll take a look at the exterior. It's, uh, two-story, kind of like the other two-story townhouses. This one ended up being different. I never made a video of me building this one because uh, I thought it was going to be identical, but it turned out it was not. So there's uh, some chests, a bed. It's pretty basic, except for this right here. Oh, I don't have any flowers on me, but I'll plant some there. And then there's this one. Uh, it was the, uh, I don't know, in my opinion, the best looking house I've built on this town so far, but there is another house that I've built. I have not uploaded the video of that yet, which I think is better. I don't know, it's a, it comes close. You'll just have to wait and see, but here's like a little lounge area. I couldn't make a proper table, and uh, the whole house is symmetrical, but it it's very different from the rest of the ha rest of the houses in the town. There's some more chest racks and a bed, real basic, on the interior. But the exterior I like a lot, so it's got those fencings that sort of make some kind of I don't know what you would even call that, but I think it looks cool. It's interesting. And what else? There was the shops. I built the shops over here, the first two ones, and I haven't built any other shops yet. There's the Tinkering Toolsmith, and this shop makes tools. Uh, stone ones right now, I should probably put some uh, iron ones there, there's the bedroom. Here's the uh, anvil and the forge there and oh. and then we have the crusty craftsman who's the craftsman who makes all the stairs the chairs the tables the ladders uh, beds as well anything that goes inside of a house is made by this craftsman uh, no basement here, there's his workbench, and here's there's the actual work, workbench right there. And then I made a tree farm. Oh boy, that's danger. A tree farm, and some... Oh, and a sawmill as well. I made a tree farm over there. The tree farm's pretty basic. It's just a bunch of trees that are growing. Uh, I'm starting to regret this night tour. Um, die, die, die. These guys, like, never miss. Kinda pisses me off. Why are so many spiders? I hate spiders. You're not dead? Come on. What the hell? Jeez. Well, here's the sawmill. I, uh, in the video I had this as fences, and I said I was gonna switch it out for iron, but holy crap, I'm about to die. Okay, and there's the water wheel. Let's take a look from over here. If we can, uh, there's a creeper. I really don't want the creeper to un undo my work. 
because I don't have any mods installed. Certainly none that uh, prevent creepers from doing creeper stuff. Anyways, uh, then I made sort of like a dock area. I plan on building a warehouse at the dock area off camera. There's no good way to tactically move through these creepers, is there? I'll just have to run past and ignore them. And let's, uh, those things that I've just shown, besides the uh, docks and maybe the bridges. I don't know if I've done the bridges in the last ten episodes. Don't explode, don't explode. Here are the docks. Right here. There you go, you've seen the docks. It's not particularly interesting. Here's some bridges. I'm going to go over to the nether portal that I made over here. Because that's going to uh, involve the end discussion of this video. Um, so we've seen all that I've done there. Uh, might as well take a quick peek at the uh, quarry. I guess I don't know if anyone's interested in that. But uh been doing quite a bit of digging in the quarry. Or mining, I should say. But here's the portal room, and I'm going to go through it portals allowed. Okay, I'm going to charge through this. I hear a ghast. Leave me alone. Alright, I should have some peace over here. But, uh, so what I'm going to do next is, maybe this wasn't the best location, but, oh well. Uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to be building some more shops. The next big project is a bank, and maybe, like, the mages guild thing that I was talking about for enchanting and potion making. Um... Let's see here. Uh, more houses, definitely. I, I'm considering making a few houses off camera. Just to do that, get some, to break the monotony of house videos, I guess. I don't know if it's monotony or not. Uh, so I might build a couple. I certainly will, any duplicate design houses, I won't post a duplicate video of. But, uh, so more houses, a bank, some more types of farms. Uh, well, I've already made a video of, uh, me making a farm. I just have not uploaded it yet. And, uh, as far as the, uh, let's see, how I'm going to be making new, new towns and cities, uh, I haven't completely made my, of my, completely made my mind up on this, but also the reason why I came to the nether is, uh, I think I stated, I did state before when I came to the nether this first time, that, uh, regarding lore and stuff, I didn't want to go into the nether because I was thinking about having, like, cults that, uh, worship the nether or something. I've changed my mind about that, uh, I mentioned in the lore that, uh, this whole map in the world that I'm making is called Third World. And what it's about is like the afterlife when everyone dies, they come to Third World and they're sort of immortal in that they respawn when they die. And they try to build cities, and that's what why I'm building cities is all that. And how I'm gonna do it is how I've made up my mind is that when they die, they come into the nether before they go into the overworld, and they try to, and they come out through nether portals, and where they come out of the nether portals, they settle towns and cities, so the next location that I build a city or town is going to be somewhere that I come through out of a nether portal, so that's how I'm going to be making my decisions. Although I may change my mind about that, depending on the location of where I come out of the nether portal. Because it might just be a horrible, horrible location. So if that happens, I'll probably tear down the nether portal. 
and try again. Anyways, that is the uh, three fields of subject that I wanted to cover in this video, this update on the town, this, the Let's Play, this series. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and thank you for watching.